Hello and welcome back to American Truck Simulator. Let's get right into it as per usual. Oh my god, weird, right? Anyway, let's hope this drive goes better than uh, the drive as of the last video where I managed to crash into like eight parked cars and really it was just silly at that point that we were being so terrible. Alright, where am I going? Left? Yeah, okay. Is that like a fucking space telescope? What the hell is that? Is it a water hose? In case, like, a oil derrick lights on fire? Man, I don't know what the hell that thing has a purpose for. Maybe it's a very large colonoscopy. Of course, that, that wouldn't be good. Thank God they give you antiseptic for colonoscopies. Is there anything here we want to take? Bakersfield to El Centro. We have not been down there in a while. Or we could do Bakersfield to Elko. Maybe if we uh, we back out just a little bit and go look at the uh, overall freight market for this area. Well, it's hard when when it just doesn't exist. I I don't want to. Okay, we're okay. We'll just click Bakersfield because I don't know what's going on here. Anyway, Bakersfield to Elko is the most profitable one that we're at which is interesting because we're just oh it's explosives oh oh that's awkward well not, nothing like taking some explosives to a mining facility I don't even know if we've been to a fucking mining facility right like has have we been there that might finish our uh, our achievement for unlocking all of the uh, the job people the people who offer and collect jobs, I don't know. That'd be... I really should have been looking behind me when, when you reverse. Usually that's, that's a smart plan, but I was like, I'm going straight enough. I'll go through whatever's here. This is... This is absolutely dumb of me. And we are going to stop at the first service station that it pops up on our way to Elko with this, with this cargo. You know, as long as it doesn't explode, we are going way too fast. Oh my god. Okay. Oh god. You know, I'm going to blame it on the truck. Or the fact that I have no idea how to drive a truck. Or maybe I'm just too too loosey-goosey and you have to slow down a little bit and uh, take your time, calculate your moves, really. I might be smart, but <laughs> who am I, right? None of your business. Fucking secret paladin. Um... Get, get in there. Alright, there we go. Okay, can we go forward and get out of these goddamn oil derricks that have these random ass poles in the middle of the goddamn way every time? Every time. I think these place might be like the most profitable profitable because it has like the, the hazard class cargo, but also the most fucking annoying because they've got these random ass poles everywhere. How am I supposed to dip, duck, weave, and dodge all these fucking poles? Dip, dip, duck, dive, and I don't know, man. It's been a while since I've seen dodgeball. Anyway, let's quickly check for where the nearest service station... <laughs> oh, okay, there's one in Tonopah. Well, it's better than nothing, which isn't saying much, really. But there's not really one closer. Well, we could go out to the left, back to Bakersfield, but that's that's kind of out of the way, isn't it? Isn't it? Because there's there's no really way to to get back over there. Well, I think we're gonna brave it, brave it up to Tonopah. Hope that we uh, we don't lose our engine mid trip. How badly could I fuck up, right? And those were the final words he said before his cargo exploded and everybody died in a burning wreck. <sighs> Back to a relaxing drive. We are going to have to take a nap. We might not have to get gas, but we it's 650 miles. We probably will. We only have half a tank. Yeah, definitely. Definitely will. Good old times. Good old times. This brings me back. Back in my day, we used to drive trucks around in Europe. <laughs> Not like it fucking mattered. It's all the same shit anyway. They're fucking forests and cities and old architecture. Oh boy. This is this is awkward. This is Wow, we got some air. 
How bad could I fuck up, he said. Only to realize that it was the gravest thing he could have said at that moment. <laughs> Alright. Well, we may be stuck. Oh, oh, bag it up. There we go. Progress. Forward. Forward. Heave ho. Heave ho. Over the ridge. There you go. <laughs> Unfortunately, because we're going up to the same part of Nevada, this really just is like the same curvy roads we dealt with last time and managed to fuck up so badly. <sighs> Why do we do this to ourselves? We have doomed ourselves to, to fuck, to, to take it in, the, in my anus. Can my anus really take another beating? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> my anus might need some time to recover. <laughs> I was watching, um, like, just before I started this, because I was, I was just browsing Reddit, looking at dumb, dumb shit, but, um, the video is called Boston Salmon vs. Danny Mianus Manus, or Minus, however you say his last name, but the announcers of this MMA fight confused the last name of Minus or Manus or whatever. I don't know how you would come up with Mianus, because it's M-A-I-N-U-S. That doesn't even look or sound anything like my anus. I can see the my if you were to go M-A-I, like my, but then there's nus left, right? And I guess you could see anus in A-I-N-U-S, but then you'd be using, like, overlapping letters, and that, that's just not weird. That's, that'd be weird. But they, they're just like, my anus might need a break. Can my anus take another large blow? <laughs> my anus prefers it on the ground. This is where my anus wants to be. Maybe, maybe that's a little bit of childish humor, but it's it's pretty fucking funny at the same time. <laughs> My anus. In some other silly things I looked at today, there was a one guy I watched 10 minutes of trying to use a Windows Vista voice recognition to code a simple program in, like, Notepad or something. <laughs> Except because, like, the, the program, like, language he was using was, like, um required like specific lowercase and uppercase letters and like semicolons parentheses commas all that shit like that he just didn't recognize it so, so he would just be like all capital info and so he would just like all the words all capital info would appear on the screen and then he'd be like delete all capital info and then delete all capital info would come up on the screen and then he'd finally like just delete all and start over again for multiple times but I think the best was when something to the effect of um, fuck me like you would like your windows appeared it was it was not as clear as that because it was just like a lot of random letters it was like you are as fuck as a uh, at symbol like you would your windows or something like that it was very silly though if we are if we aren't to enjoy toilet humor, then uh, what's the point of living? Am I right? It exists all around us. You gotta you gotta get joy from something. I'm not not gonna get into any highbrow humor. I mean, if you if you've seen any of these, you know they are highbrow. Ooh, we don't get into any like philosophical ethical discussions about about toilet humor or something, and then be like, oh, gotcha. I don't know, man. I don't even know what highbrow humor is classified as. Because all I'm good at is lowbrow humor. I don't know. Am I good at it? I, I, I don't want to be overstepping my boundaries. <sighs> I'm back. My anus. No. Not back to that. Not back to that again. <sighs> Oh, look at that pretty sky off in the distance. It reminds me that while we're uh, at the service station, we might as well get our paint job checked out. Am I right? Am I right? We might as well, right? Did the horse make money for us just now? Because how did we get 37 grand? I don't remember what we started with. Maybe should have paid it a little more attention. Oh. <laughs> As long as Horst is doing jobs and making some amount of money, he's already valuable to us, besides the fact that we had to make a down payment of a truck. 
and what, like, even though he's a shit driver, that truck was dirt cheap, like, only a barely over 100 grand, so... Even if he makes, like, 5 grand a day, it won't take all that long. Because we, I think in game time, we've been going for, like, at least a month, right? I think there's a way to look at, like, transactions and stuff, but... That would require hitting the escape key, and that would require way too much hand movement. Like, it's it's all the way just out of reach of, like, my, uh... My left ring finger? Like, I'd be sitting on the A key? Like, ah, that's, that's a pain. Maybe just out of reach of my middle finger on the W key? But, ugh. What well, am I supposed to use my wrists? My wrists are only here for... For wiggly, wiggly little legs. Now, the, whoop. Stay on the road. Stay on the road. Ha. Whoa. Ah. I can see, motherfuckers. Anybody home? Hey, daddy's here. Come on. That's right, Natty. Now, you sweet piece of shit. Enjoy the ride home, cocksucker. Have a nice trip. Boom time, baby. It's like a party. Come on. I got places to go, people to meet. You know. I don't understand why the few songs that I've memorized, well, probably just in general of, of listening to them a lot, but the, the songs that I've memorized are like Wild Wild West by Will Smith, of course, the ending credits theme f from Rogue Warrior starring Mickey Rourke, which is just odd, because it's not really what I would call supposed to be a song because it's just voice clips from the game into a funky theme anyway and then I think I have like cats in the cradle memorized maybe then I just like there's a lot of other songs that I mostly know but don't care enough to memorize I think I might know Caribbean Queen but not off the top of my head I need to need to have the song with it but I mean if you want like any lyric in Wild Wild West, I got you. Like, any outlaw trying to draw, thinking you're bad, and he draw in the West, best to depend on a pad, don't even think about it. Six gun, weighing a ton, ten pace and turn just for fun, son. See, like, it, that's, that's the start of the third fucking chorus. There's only, like, three choruses. The only thing that I haven't mastered are the uh, uhs, and uh, that Will Smith just sort of puts in every one of his songs for, for no discernible reason. But then I also just can't memorize the chorus because it's an absolute mess. Doo 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 doos, and I, I just I can't do doo 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 doos, doo 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 doos. And then like the ending, it's just like we're going straight to the wild wild west for like five minutes, and really, and then like Will Smith overlaps his voice sometimes. It's just a mess of of a like a of a chorus. The the verses though, the three verses are pretty good. I might have gotten that confused earlier. I might have said the the courses, cor the choruses were uh, were what I was what I was the lyrics, but nah, or whatever the singular chorus. <sighs> God, I don't know anything about music though, like for real. What? When would that prove useful? I am also getting tired and would like to stop at a station. Unfortunately, we've got a ways to go to Tonopah, right? But we can knock all our birds out with with uh, three stones <laughs> by by going to sleep in one area, the, the gas station in the next area, and, and finally getting repaired in the last area. But um, it's it's all in the same vicinity, at least you know. Like, I I I'd, I'd put this situation to maybe you're uh, you're trying to you know like hit some birds on a pond because they're like stealing all your bread or some shit. I don't know, geese are assholes anyway. And then there's just like, uh, y you need some rocks to hit them with, but but thank God you're on like a pebble beach or some shit. Not actually pebble beach. I don't even know if pebble beach has pebbles on its beaches. But let's just say there's a beach made out of less granular pieces of sand or something. They're like thick stones, <laughs> which now this is just getting all over. Okay, let's just say you rip fucking gallstones out of your kidney and shit and just throw it at them. Good enough, What? whatever. Anyway. I'm just saying you might want to have multiple stones. <laughs> what did I just say? Something about rocks? Dwayne the Rock Johnson? Stone? I don't know anybody with the last Sharon Stone. I believe there's somebody with a, like a first name that starts with an M in a stone. Like Matt? Mark Stone? I don't know. It'd be a weird name though. Mark Stone. <laughs> 
also I saw I saw recently that there's a um, anti anti marijuana ad campaign in Australia where the mascot is the stoner sloth and it's hashtag stoner sloth but it's so hilarious because the music is so good it's just like they portray this random ass sloth in these situations to just be a complete and utter buffoon <laughs> he's like hey there there's a family at the dinner table the mother's like hey jason can you pass the the salt and so the sloth in this fucking basketball tee is just like <laughs> and it's like do 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 and then he just like hands this fucking salad bowl to the mother and it's like what the fuck man <laughs> what holy shit this is a disaster all right let's pull in to yep pull in there we go round it all up pull into the the area where I can sleep please can I sleep now and forever hold my peace Oh my god. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, go to sleep. Go to sleep. Thank god, man. Finding that one exact area where you need to sleep is such bullshit. I feel like if you were just in this area and you wanted to sleep, it would be fine. But no, you have to come to this weird-ass parking spaces in the back and then have a pain in the dick time trying to get out of the intersection. Yeah, see? Now now we've got our explosives caught on the building. Oh my god. What is, what is the person on the second story going to think when there's all this sulfur in his eyes or something? Man, I don't know how to make an explosive. I don't know what explosives they use in mining anymore. Was it like use TNT still? Like a fucking standard old plunger detonator? Does anybody still use those? Because those are clearly like by far the, the coolest and most iconic, but I, I can't imagine them being useful. Big big thing up in northern Minnesota is the uh, is a company that wants to build another copper mine, but it's right on the. Uh... I'd like to turn, please. Okay, but it's right on like the edge of the fucking Boundary Waters area, which is this huge water source that like bridges Canada Minnesota area. But there's like lakes, small islands. It's a nice area, I suppose. But anyway, you go. A lot of people go camping, canoeing, recreation, outdoors, Minnesota y stuff. Anyway, but they're like gonna do sulfur mining and then they like pollute the the water stash. I don't remember what it's called. The water some water water source now. Water water reserve water reservoir. I don't know, man. Anyway. So people, people are all up, up in arms about this thing, and I, I don't, I can't be bothered to, to learn one or the other. Although if it ever comes to like a vote, it seems like something I should read up on. But man, I've got this massive headache of a fucking uh, presidential election coming up, so I gotta, gotta focus my efforts there. I watched um. I watched the silliness of one of the the Republican de primary debates from like late December, early January, where everybody just had no clue what was going on in the introduction. So like, the first guy gets called out. I don't remember who. It. Ben Carson's up next, so they call Ben Carson's name in like two quick succession of uh, of the first person. So he's just like standing there. <laughs> like wait am I am I supposed to go out they didn't call my name and the camera's just like looking at him as he's standing in this entry hallway and then like three more people pass him and then they like call out Donald Trump's name but Donald Trump just goes and stand next to Ben Carson <laughs> and then like John John Kasich just wanders onto the set at the end it's like what what a shit show man what a, what a disaster whatever the hell happened all right Let's check our paints. Paints. Paint job. Job of the paint. Job of the paint. Oh my god, nice rainbows. Baby. Vintage paint? Oh wait, can we change the color? Oh my god, we can make it rainbows up in this bitch. And, and rainbows and stripes. Oh, and divided? Ooh, metallic. But then there's also the... Uh, no, there's, there's, oh, no, there it is. There's the custom color, right? 
Oh wait, can I? Oops, didn't mean that one. Anyway, can we just like change all the colors, or is it just one color? It looks to be just one base color. That's lame. Oh no, there's there's metallic color. This is what we used last time, right? You have the first color be. Oh, it's up here. My bad. Oh my god, I'm I'm just the worst. Yeah, this is only one color. The metallic color is what we were using before. We've got your primary color, your secondary color. Yeah, okay. Okay. Oh, oh baby. Oh baby, oh baby. Talk dirty. Well, that that is hilariously ugly and beautiful all at the same time. But we uh we could always go something like rainbows. That could be fun. Oh, oh, what color rainbow do we want? Oh, it has to be like rainbow dash colors, right? Or something like that. I watched, I watched like one episode of My Little Pony once out of st stupidity. Just with some friends, because god damn, it was terrible. Um, ooh. This isn't looking the worst of all time. Okay, there we go. It's... I added some weird looking trucks. Anyway, where, where, what direction do we want to even go with this paint job, man? Do we want this, this green, like yellow? Oh my god, I don't even know where to go. Oh, that that dark olive, man. Ugh, ugh. Maybe maybe we should make this more of a primary color. Make the olive a more secondary one. Like, what if we made this this pink into an olive? That isn't the worst. And then this black could maybe be a, just a random ass color. Blue blue and green rainbow. Woo! Alright. And then and then we of course make the uh, the stripe a pink. Yeah, and then we make uh Oh okay, just oh lime lime green. Oh baby. We got there, I think. Uh Maybe, maybe not green, maybe we go for like a, or a dark brown, or a red, or an orange. That's, that's like tan. Those dark oranges look pretty terrible, just saying. Um, what if we made it more red? Oh, get borderline pink, light pink. Oh, oh, this is beautiful. Oh, but do we, I don't know, I don't know if I like the olive green and blue together. They don't, they don't seem to match. We gotta get some purple up in here. That's like a requirement. But I think purple might look better for uh, the, the last color, the bottom two parts of the rainbow. Yeah, that's not purple, that's that's purple. All right, then what color do we want to make this? Maybe a blue? Mm, yeah. That's sort of like a rainbow-ish. I assume that's the point, but do we even want that or do we want to go straight orange? Get, get a yellow up in here, maybe? Yellow, purple, light pink, and more pink. <laughs> this is maybe maybe throw some blue in here. Maybe some light blue. Light blue and purple, you know, sort of baby colors. Soft, soft palette. Yeah. Uh, Cause I, I'm not a, I'm not a fan of any of these darker things. That's a weird rainbow. Anyway. Uh, oh, we could go teal. I like the teal. Teal's good. Teal's a good color here. Teal, yeah, teal. What do we want? A more green teal or a blue teal? Green teal's not bad. Blue, blue teal just gets a little darker, but green teal really brings out the accents in it. I think I'm gonna go with with this. This might be one of the ugliest things I've ever made in my life. Maybe slightly adjust this color a little more. Slightly adjust this a little darker somehow. Make it a little more red. Yeah, that that's good. And now it's like rosy red. Still got that weird tan pink thing going on. The the purple's looking good and the teal. Teal, do we want to make any final changes here? No, no, this looks pretty good. Alright, confirm order. Well, this is a weird thing where we've created a fucking demon. Apparently it took us so long that it got a little bit later in the day. It's now 7 p.m. But that means we're ready to go in our beautiful new truck. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, I love looking at the stripes on the front now. Woo! Alright. Straight into the rurals.
Thanks, man. I just got it serviced. You you really had to come and do that? What? How could you how could you do this? Why have you done this? Why? Alright, let's take a right and get back on the road again. Cause that was a long enough detour. Long enough detour for me to not care anymore. West Coast Tours. <laughs> well, I'll have you know that this is the east coast of the uh, the Pacific Ocean. If you think about it that way, why do we gotta have this American-centric view? Am I right? Maybe this is this is like the uh, the North Coast. If you if you flip the globe on its side, am I right? It doesn't matter in space, dog. There's no gravity up there. Well, how could I even say space is up there? It's all around us because we're on a a circular planet. Weird, right? Oh, oh, gotcha there. Nah, that's some highbrow humor right there. Oof. Oh man, this thing is really pretty. Oh god, I love it. All right, well, yolo. Yeah, that. There goes all our health again. Oh boy, 25% damage. That's that's terrible and 7% on the rear holy shit I really gotta learn the strats for getting across these highways cause there's never a point where there's not traffic which is the unfortunate part and they apparently just refuse to slow down for other cars <laughs> they will just barrel straight on through apparently I can, I've seen them break in time they can do it they have the strength and the willpower they just don't want to and that makes them total assholes all right, keep going. I, I I believe in you, truck. This is this is awkward though. The fact that we're we just subtracted like at least a lot of money. We we probably just lost like we're gonna go down to like fifteen thousand profit maybe maybe even less. And we just spent twenty two grand in a paint job, man. Oh, and then we're gonna have to pay off loans today. Yesterday we already paid off loans. Maybe I don't know. Either way, that was awful. Cause that truck T-boned the fuck out of us. Maybe he fucked the T-bone out of us. You ever think of that? It's like you cut up a steak, and inside is only more steak. You ever think of that? Highbrow humor once again. Gotcha. Let's keep heading on these roads. I hate. I hate this drive. This might be my new least favorite drive because it's swervy and merging on. We've done this twice in a row now. This makes me so upset. The fact that I chose this one again. I was like, oh, it's the most profitable. Clearly, that means it's the best. <laughs> no, no, it does not. I would have much rather taken the boring ass 55 speed limit roads on on like Los Angeles and San Francisco compared to this horse hockey. How am I supposed to make these turns in a truck? How am I supposed to not get molested on these back roads either? Hmm. Are the wipers up? Or, or is that the down position for the wipers? Alright, weird, it is. Anyway, it still has not rained in this game. I clicked on some random American Truck Simulator video. I don't know why, but I, I just like did. It was like grabbing the description for one of mine. But anyway. I clicked on it, and it was like raining in this shit. And I was like, what? It's possible to rain in American Truck Simulator? That, that's crazy, man. It never has rained for me, ever. I've had more cases of tumbleweeds than rain. It rains like once every fucking millennia, apparently. There's probably some random dice chance that's like, oh, we don't get to rain. But then we're gonna like get up to Seattle, and it's like 100% of the time raining. And then we're gonna go to like buttfuck city and it's gonna be like Godzilla's going for my trash cause that's what I would name my sim city city sim, sim city city my shim shitty shitty my shitty sim city town I don't know anymore da, 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 da. anyway let's continue on our way we um maybe should be on the lookout for another repair station cause I doubt we have the money to repair it again. Oh, there's that, uh, there's that gas station that we, uh, we bonered on last time. But at least we don't have to stop and get more gas. We just have to not be broken. You broke me. You, you, 
You tear me apart, Lisa. <laughs> you are tearing me apart, Lisa. <laughs> I did not hit her, it's not true. I did not hit her. I did not. <laughs> oh, hi, Mark. Oh, Tommy Wiseau. My love is unending. I really wish Tommy Wiseau would tweet again. It's It's been since January. January, like, 22nd, man. His tweets are, like, perfect. What do we got? What do we got on the dashboard? I can't, I can't read all those dials. There's a lot more dials, it seems. Maybe I just never paid attention. There's that gas one, that might be useful, but we also just had the GPS. There's, uh... I can't, I can't zoom in as far as I know, unless I find the button eventually. There's temperature, oh, yeah, that is an engine malfunction, because we don't have an engine at this point. It was crumpled to pieces in a fucking shit show. Ugh. Okay, let's go left. Casually left, yeah. I'm just I'm just watching more of the GPS at this point. Just trying to anticipate the turns, you know, slow down for once. Instead of, you know, like PlayStation 2 racing games, gotta go fast. Gotta go fast. And then you just like fuck it. If I need to turn, I'll just bank off the wall, you know what I'm saying? Like the wall will catch me and, and drift me in the right direction. Cause you don't need to turn with your joystick, no. Nah, dog. Nah, raw dog. You just shove it up your own anus. What? Hello? Don't, don't. I wouldn't recommend it. I don't think PlayStation would recommend it either. Or Sony. Anybody. Don't, don't put things up your butt. At least, PlayStation controllers. Okay, I don't care what you put up your butt. That's, that's your prerogative. Look. I don't know what I'm talking about anymore. I just, I just am very salty. Salty about my, uh, my inefficiencies as a person? Uh, no, no, just salty about the fact that we, uh, we crashed a lot. It is not even our fault. Those highways are bullshit. 100% pure bullshit. You know, maybe I'm being a little, uh, a little cocky saying I had no problem in it, because I just did just drive straight into the middle of a, like, a 70 mile an hour highway during rush hour with a truck and didn't know what to expect. A mistake. Well, that might be considered a mistake, yes. Or it might be considered a brilliant tactical move. I forgot to look for a turn, and now we're off the road. We're, uh, we're here again. We're here in this, in this little place called life. Please get back onto the road in a standard fashion. Thank you very much. Good work, everybody. Oh, we're coming up to that gas station again. Let's let's try to just just make it around the turn. Maybe we cut through the gas station. Maybe that's the smart plan. Now you'd save some time. Maybe it makes it a little easier to turn without running into a sign. Or it could make it even harder because it's very narrow. It has the the gas on the right and like the fucking sign with the prices on the left, so it doesn't make it any easier. <laughs> Excuse me. Yes, I'm sleepy. Alright, there's the gas station, but we're gonna pass it up for the safe play, because turns out there's just a massive sidewalk here that we're gonna use to our advantage. Alright, I love sidewalks. Just driving straight over them. Yeah, it's so easy. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. I don't even know what that means. I get the easy peasy part, but like, what what does lemon squeezy have to do with anything? Is squeezing lemons easy? I s suppose, maybe? I don't like citrus, though, so... I wouldn't know exactly. I have very weird tastes. Picky. Picky is the word I would describe it as well. Sometimes you just want to eat the same meal for the rest of your life, and by God, I'm okay, because I really like pasta. Pasta and rice. And, you know, all, all the, uh... The five, the five, uh, whatever they're called, the food groups, you know, ice cream, ice cream, and ice cream, and ice cream, and ice cream. Jabra, you feel me? At, at what point 
do you get enough calcium from ice cream? Like, how much ice cream would you need to eat to make up for, like, if you didn't drink milk or eat cheese? If your only source of calcium was ice cream, how much would you have to eat? Per day, per week, per month, somewhere in there. That'd be a fun statistic to know. Of course, there would be a lot of other downsides, but I wouldn't recommend it either. Whew. I, I would imagine there's probably a lot of ice cream. I, I can't imagine... I don't know how to make ice cream. It could be like 100% dairy. 2% flavor. I don't know. It's 102%, but whoa. Sometimes you got... 35% get what, what was that song? That, that's with the statistics. Yeah, yeah. No, he's like 20% power, 50% pain, 100% reason to remember the name. 20, 30% skill. Something luck, something with... I don't know, remember at all, really. It has been a long time since I've heard that song. I don't know what it's called, who's it's by. But it exists. It was also one time a popular song that required uh, media attention. So, you know, that's something. That was, of course, the name of one of the longest named cities in the world in Wales, because Wales has a stupid language. God. I wouldn't, I wouldn't call it stupid, it's just overly complicated for, for a city name, at least. What a, what a silly name. It actually means something, it's like, by the rose bush in the swirling whirlpool, a bush, and the, the church of the St. Mary, I don't remember. A church of something involving a bush on the cliffs. Engine malfunction, surprise! It's like we made a mistake. That's not allowed, though. Why'd you come here if, if I was gonna make trucking mistakes? That'd be dumb, right? I'd hope you come here for the uh, the excellent skills to pay the bills that, that come with playing this game, but uh, you're probably not here at all. If you're out there and hearing this, that means I'm already dead. <laughs> Just play this as part of my will. You ever want to, like... What would, what would happen? You know, it'd be just absolutely hilarious in my mind. This this thought has crossed before. That, um, let's say, uh, you know, you got, like, a stereotypical movie scenario where, uh, you die, and a lawyer is, like, reading your will to, like, your two children and her family or something. Except you just make the lawyer say the most weird shit possible. Like, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> and I leave you, Granny G, this... Bentley <laughs> because I like my Bentley I like it a lot yummy yummy in my tummy something like that I don't know it could be much more stupider it could be much more homosexual I don't care like I have always wanted you to have gay sex with a lawyer Benny T. Moneyton that would be a great name Benny T. Moneyton why Benny why T and why Moneyton I, I couldn't tell you for sure but that's that's what a popped on the top of my head than the fact that Granny G is supposed to have sex with him or something. And that's where we cue the sexual music. Yeah, as we straight drive into Elko. As, as Salmon Man delivers one final blow into my anus. Anyway, we're gonna get off the highway, we're gonna turn left, we're gonna park and we're gonna forget this mission ever happened. Except I'll probably mention the fact that I'm a failure next time. Can guarantee it. You know, I'll be like... I'll be starting up the next video and be like, Hell, I wonder if there's anything I should specifically mention to, you know, keep the, keep the topics fresh. Otherwise, it's just me talking about whatever the hell I'm thinking of. Which doesn't always work out. Sometimes, sometimes you need a little, uh, direction, but, um... I'll, I'll be like, oh shit, what what the hell did we do last episode? Oh yeah, we fucking died. We rested in major pepperonis. Might as well call me a sausage factory, am I right? Oh my god. Let us go faster. Fucking wood truck. Okay. Oh no, we've definitely delivered to a mine before. 
I remember that now. That was like the first time we ever got stuck was in a mine because there was that weird grape that we couldn't quite get over. That was really awkward. I hope that doesn't happen again while we're up here. Because it is really quite annoying to get stuck. Mostly because it's total horse shit. I don't want to get stuck. Turn right on red. There's no stoplight or stop sign, so we're just gonna turn right over the desert. Whoa, got him. Nobody ever saw that coming. And then we just have another mile to go. One mile. You know, when I was younger, in like, in, in like middle school, my brother had his license eventually. Uh, he would drive me home. Except whenever I went with him, he would somehow magically be at like five gallons of gas left. I'm like, dude, we have to get like 20 miles on five gallons of gas, which, you know, that's that's probably not, maybe not five gallons. It was more like one or two gallons of gas. I'm like, dude, this is, this is kind of pushing it. You have, you have like less than an eighth of a tank. It might be time to go get gas. That's usually where I cut it off. You know, my mother, who like plays everything on the safe side, she's like, oh shit, you only have half a tank. Better go get gas. I'm like, I, I think that might be a little extreme. Because at that point, you're only filling up, at least in my car, I've, I've only got like a 12-gallon tank or something like that. Pull in. Hit enter. Sorry, I'm in a hurry now, Skip. Oh, look at that beauty in the background. Reasonable. I'm shocked. How much penalty do we take? Almost seven grand. Yep. Fourteen and a half thousand bucks. Straight down the tube. And we're going to have to pay more for service next time. But at least we got this sick paint job. We're making progress every day. And every day, God is good. According to God, it's not dead. Anyway, well, have a good night, everybody. I hope you enjoyed this episode of American Truck Simulator, and I will see you next time.